Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to share a project that I've been working on and about to make it publicly available in the App Store. This app is called Drone Repeat. It's been in beta for about six months. And what it allows uh, a user with a DJI aircraft to do is create a repeatable shot. So let's say that you're flying out to location, setting your altitude, uh, your gimbal pitch, all of that to frame the perfect shot. Drone Repeat will remember the location, all of your parameters, and allow you to shoot that same spot maybe an hour later, a day later, a week, month. If you want to get a good uh, time series of photography, now let me demonstrate one of our users. This is Jason, and his local uh, news station contracted him to do a cityscape. And as you can see in this clip, I'll play it real quick. You can see the uh, skyline from night. And then he takes a series of photos and that shifts to daytime. And this is only about a five second sequence. I'll play it one more time. And you can just see uh, the cool effect that that gives. And the reality of it is, drone repeat is a pretty simple idea. I just figured I wanted it for some of the shots that I've been taking and being able to repeat those and hopefully others will as well. And in this video, I just want to show you how it works. I figured it'd be easier to do it here on the desktop in the iOS simulator versus going out to the field and trying to film uh, my iPad screen where there's a lot of reflection and everything. So let's take a quick look. We have the simulator fired up. You can see my screen here. My Phantom 4 is on the bench. So if I actually move my gimbal, that the gimbal actually moves in the simulated screen, which is great. This is awesome just to be able to test instead of having to write code, upload it, go out to the field, test, and then come back, I can simulate this whole environment. So this is the main screen of Drone Repeat, and you can see some different widgets here. Uh, you can see the battery, satellite, camera, all of that. All of this comes as the new DJI uh, UI library, so it makes things very simple. If I click here, there's a pre-flight checklist. There's an error. Of course, I'm on the bench over here indoors, so I don't expect that to... Uh, be perfect. But that being said, this is great to get all of your pre-flight stuff out of the way, have the ability to set your camera mode. Now the other thing is, before I take a photo, let me show you our other screen. It's this map view. And what the map view does has our aircraft location and the simulated home point is somewhere in China. I just set some ar arbitrary home point. All of this is very irrelevant. When you're in the field, this will all make sense because you'll see uh, your location of your aircraft. So here's what I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the motors. Right now the Phantom 4 is flying in the simulator. If you look down here, we're at an altitude of 13 meters. And watch what happens when I yaw. My heading is changing. So that's sort of the gist of the map view. What that allows you to do is just see your location. I'm gonna go back over here to our camera view. Let's say that I flew to a location. I'm going to tap this camera button, hit yes, and then what will happen is that it puts a marker on the map. So I'm just gonna roll right a little bit. My aircraft location is moving away from that point. Then let's say I want to yaw right a little bit and get a shot here. I have the shot framed. I'll go ahead and let me just pitch the gimbal all the way down. So I'm going to send it all the way down Let's say take a nadir shot. I'll do that. I'll hit yes. We have another marker on the map. And if I tap this one here, it'll show you the time, the lat long, the altitude I was at, my heading, and the pitch of the gimbal. So if we look at this one, we should see a minus 90 degrees or close. You can see a minus 89 degrees. So what I'll do next is I will select this waypoint or this uh, repeat location. I'll click launch and we'll hit yes. And then what you'll see is that the mission gets uploaded to the aircraft and this is all simulated by the flight controller. If we weren't in simulator mode, this would actually be flying out of the field and doing what we want. And you can see here that the aircraft is flying to its location. It'll find the right altitude. We're only at seven meters. It's yawing into position. It'll pitch the gimbal to the right location and then take the shot. There's a bit of a delay just so that we give a little bit of time for the camera to stabilize and now the shot is successfully repeated. Let me also just demonstrate the camera widgets. You may or may not know 
you can adjust settings from your right scroll wheel. As I move the scroll wheel, you'll notice that my shutter, uh, my f-stop, my exposure value, all of that is updating. So that's just very cool to be able to have that type of access to this data while you're flying. You guys might be familiar with Drone Pan. We're gonna be bringing all these widgets over there. Now let me just show you guys one more shot uh, real quick. I'm going to go to this location and we can see that the pitch is a minus 89 degrees, close to a minus 90. The mission is uploaded. We should see our aircraft go over there. And what I'll do in this case is, as the aircraft is flying to its location, I'm just gonna go over to camera view. So what we can see is that when it gets to the location, we'll actually be able to watch the gimbal on the bench, pitch down to a minus 90, and there you can see it go. So, it's just a really useful way to test this app. This is Drone Repeat, currently in beta. I'll put a link to the Facebook group below. If you guys have a DJI aircraft, please feel free to join. We'll get you on the beta. Hopefully it'll be in the app store. It'll be completely free. And I hope to see just some really cool shots taken with it. There's gonna be a lot of you that ask, will it be available for solo or a Pixhawk based system? And I'd love to get there. Right now I'm just focusing on DJI because that's where a ton of users are and just trying to get more familiar with the SDK. I hope that video was useful. Wanted to share what I've been up to. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.